I have a confession to make. For most of my guitar playing life, I haven't put much thought at all into what type of pick I should be using when I play guitar. I pretty much just made do with whatever I had at the time, which was usually your standard, you know, one millimeter thick, uh, just little fender sized picks. And I was using those for a long time without even really thinking about trying out picks of different thicknesses or different sizes to really optimize my playing and my tone. But over the years, I've developed a few preferences. Like, for example, I like to use really thin picks when playing acoustic guitar. So this one right here is a half millimeter thick pick. And, you know, I would never play electric guitar with it, but acoustic guitar, it's great because you can do all the, the strummy kind of stuff, right? But as far as electric guitar, I tend to stick to, you know, one millimeter or 1.14 millimeters and just kind of go back and forth between those. Until one day I was challenged by a dear friend of mine who's a phenomenal player. I mean, this guy can shred chops for days and he challenged me to try playing a thin pick on electric guitar and i at first was just like Psh, no way not doing that just doesn't feel right to me i like to associate thin picks with acoustic guitar and thicker picks with electric guitar naturally right but he's like just try it try it try it and try it when you're playing fast too and i was like oh this is gonna be good so i tried it and i'm gonna report to you my findings <laughs> and spoiler alert i have since changed my tune on using thin picks with electric guitar. So check this out. I got this pick here. It's a half millimeter, right? So not super paper thin, right? It's got a little bit of, you know, resistance when you try to bend it, but it is way bendier than any other pick that I normally would play on electric guitar. So check this out. If I were to just alternate pick the open E string. Here's the first thing that I noticed. And by the way, I'm sharing all this with you because you may have been in the same position as me and never even thought to use a thin pick with an electric guitar because you thought maybe the same thing that I did. But I'm here to tell you that it's definitely worth a try. Don't knock it till you try it, as they say, right? So if you have a thinner pick, let's say if you're pre predominantly an acoustic player or if you just have picks that you specifically use for uh, acoustic, grab it with your electric and, and seriously, try this out with me. So when you're playing, when you're alternate picking the open E string, the first thing I notice is the way the pick behaves when you're when you're actually like, you know, going up and down on the string. So a thicker pick wouldn't budge, right? It would just be solid. And so there's more kind of, uh, the, the burden is more on your picking hand to really make sure that you're precise, right? But with the thinner pick, there's a little bit of give. It's kind of like the pick, you know, it'll just like bend you know, when you interact with the string and just give way to it and then just bend right back. And it creates this really nice, smooth kind of friction. So I can start like this and I can play even faster. And faster. And faster. And it's relatively clean. Now, let me tell you. You know, even though my picking hand can do that, if I grabbed a thicker pick and did that, it would not be as clean. Let me show you. So now I have this pick that's 1.14 millimeters, so it's a lot thicker, and it definitely doesn't move when you try to bend it. So let's do the same thing. Open E string alternate pick and just speed it up. Oh man, um, it's just, see, as soon as I start to get really, really fast, I start to, you know, stumble and it's, it's, and I'm noticing it's because the pick is not giving me that extra give, right? So what I'm noticing there is even though my picking hand, you know, has the ability to, to pick like that, there's like something going on in the realm of physics that's making it, you know, much less clean when I'm playing like, you know, as fast as I can. And it's, it's not only that, but my arm actually gets tired a lot quicker because that resistance is kind of making its way into the muscles in my forearm and I really start to feel it. So I'm gonna switch back, got it right here. Switch back to my half millimeter thick pick, do the same thing again. So when I'm going full helicopter, you know, <laughs> which I'm, I'm only doing this just to demonstrate, you know, just just in terms of like when you're playing that kind of fast, how like every every, uh, you know, ounce of, uh, uh, you know, physics that you can have on your side when doing that, when accomplishing that is much needed. Right. 
Whereas with the thicker pick, it's, it's a little bit harder and you get tired quicker. You know, so I found with this uh, thinner pick that I'm actually able to not only continue to pick like that and cleanly, but I can do it for a whole lot longer. So when you're trying this out and you got a thinner pick and you got your electric guitar, just start with the open E string and then just start alternate picking and then just try and go, you know, start slow and just gradually build and then just go as fast as you can. Even if it's not that fast at first, if you're still working on that, that's fine because it's going to reflect based on the level that you're at, right? How much easier it is, right? For you to do it. So what I'm going to show you is my patented, well, patent pending, actually, no, none of that. It's my pick testing riff that I like to do. So every time I'm trying a different type of pick, different size, different thickness or whatever, I like to play this riff because it'll pretty much tell me everything I need as far as when I'm trying to play a little bit on the faster side, whether or not the pick that I'm using is the right one. Okay, so the pick testing riff goes like this. We're gonna start with the open D string on a downstroke, right? And I like to palm mute it too, just to you know prevent any excess noise. So we're playing the open E string, or sorry, open D string, downstroke. Then first finger is gonna play second fret. This is all on the D string, upstroke. And then second finger here is gonna play third fret, downstroke. Then pinky is gonna play fifth fret, upstroke. So we're going over these notes, open D, right? Second fret, third fret, fifth fret. All right, so those four notes, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna play that uh, twice in succession. And then after that, once we've, once we've played it the second time, we're gonna repeat this note here, which kicks off the next measure, which is the fifth fret of the D string, and we're gonna go, down, up, down, up in terms of our picking, right? So we're going down stroke on the uh, fifth fret, up stroke on third fret, down stroke on the uh, second fret, and then up stroke open, right? And so we're essentially walking up, you know, with uh, those four notes twice, and then walking down, descending on those notes twice. And that's it, you just repeat that as, as often as you want. Now the trick is, you know, that kind of, you're double picking the same note, right, when you're, when you're going between those measures, like, right, you're playing that fifth fret twice, right? And then you're playing the open D twice, you know, so when this is kind of like, it's meant to be a cyclical riff, right? Something that you can just play as long as you want as you're testing out your pick, you know, the type of pick that you're using. And this is one of those riffs where you can practice at any tempo. You know, you can start slow and build your way up in speed. Uh, personally, what I like to do when I'm practicing this riff is I'll start it a little bit slow and just gradually uh, build up speed, just like I was doing with the open E string. So it'll be like this. Even after playing guitar for almost two decades and being stuck in my ways in terms of what type of picks I like to use for different situations, you know, I was able to learn, you know, pretty recently that sometimes I'm not using the right pick for the job. And if I'm trying to play a little bit faster, I am now a believer in using a thinner pick. And by the way, I want you to know that when you're embarking on this quest and trying out different types of picks, just like you would different types of guitars, different types of strings, different types of amps, I understand it can be very overwhelming, but it's not supposed to be stressful. So don't, don't stress about it, have fun with it. It's really about experimentation. If you're, if you're a beginner and you have no idea, you know, what, you know, a, a one millimeter pick is compared to a half millimeter pick or a two millimeter pick, you know, just understand that there's just certain preferences that different guitar players develop based on their style. So you're still in the process of developing your own style because you're just learning the fundamentals. So when you're learning the fundamentals, it really doesn't matter what kind of pick you use. I'd even recommend just going with industry standard. You know, start with your one millimeter pick and just kind of work your way as you start to develop your skills, you start to develop more preferences and tastes, then you can make your decisions accordingly. But do not stress out about it before you really need to. So now that I've given you a little bit of insight and possibly planted a seed of doubt on whether or not you're using the right pick, I just want you to know, it's all about making guitar playing easier, right? So as it turns out, using a thinner pick can actually make playing fast with alternate picking a lot easier. And that's what I've discovered, and that's what I wanted to share with you and have you try out if you haven't already. So it's all about progress, right? So if we're talking about progressing with your guitar playing, I wanna make sure that you're able to do that without a hitch, which is why I'm about to give you something. 
It's a free 30 second survey to find out what your number one guitar progress killer is. In just 30 seconds, you're gonna find out exactly what it is that's holding you back from playing guitar the way you wanna play it. And next is gonna tell you exactly what you have to do to bust through that forever and never have that problem again. So be sure to click here to take that survey or check the link in the description box.